Good morning, I am getting ready in a massive rush today and I don't have any moisturiser left. Um, I'm heading in to the office where I'm volunteering because I've got a meeting and I'm running a bit late for that. This morning has been really exciting actually because I've been sorting out, um, we're going on a trip to London next month so I've been kind of sorting out what we're doing and <coughs> where we're staying and like when Adam needs to take time off work and things like that so it's been quite an exciting and hectic, mo hectic morning and you know when the time just creeps up on you and you're like I need to get ready right now because I need to leave in like 20 minutes ah. and I'm making a rose tea to take with me to the office because period pains and rose tea is great for that this flask is just amazing by the way, it's got a tea infuser attached to it so you literally can just make the tea straight into the flask. I've been shopping by accident. You know when you go in to get one thing and then you come out with everything. So in Primark the one thing I went in to get was this t-shirt that I'm going to make into a Christmas present for my dad, very exciting. But I did get a lot of exciting things. I got this jumper that everyone has, but it's so soft and it just fits so well. Like I love the the high neck is amazing. Oh, I want to stroke. Oh, did you want to stroke it? It's really soft. I just wanted a jumper. I just wanted some retail therapy. I got I, this kind of similar to the one I have in pink, but of course in mustard. Oh, it's 2XL, 2XS. I didn't realise that was the size I got. I may need to buy that in a bigger size. Because I don't think, well, it's stretchy. I, 2X. I'll see, I'll, I'll see I, if it fits me. It's stretchy, so it's meant to be tight. <laughs> Whoopsie. And also, <gasps> the best impulse purchase ever. I need to show I saw these in summer and I was like, those are amazing, but I didn't get them. And then I was really sad that I didn't get them. So now I have them. And it's, I don't need them. And I probably won't wear them until next summer for the festivals, but I love them. It's like, um, what do you call it? Like manifesting your ideas. Like the whole thing with the face painting was that I would go to the festivals to do the face painting at festivals and I can just imagine myself wearing these wellies at festivals doing face painting. So these are my like vision board wellies. I'm gonna look at these and be like, yes, I'm gonna go to the festivals and do the face painting. Not all of your holes have a backstory, do they? I've got some candles from Tiger. Can't open it. The orange candles. Oh. And we keep going. There is more. I got some books from the works because I am not feeling the book I was reading for my book club. So I'm gonna try these out. This one will be pretty quick, so look how short it is. Um, and see if I wanna do these for book club. I was just not feeling what I was reading, so I'm gonna try them out. I got some wool from Poundland to make um, a baby hat for Christmas as well. In Poundland though, the um, self-checkouts had like a Halloween voice in it. It was really cool. It was like um, when you put your money in, it's like, have a spooky day. It was really cool. I'll have to go back and film it. Have a spooky day. Yeah, have a spooky day. Got some pins. Exciting. And I got some super glue and I got ID'd for the super glue. I don't think you needed ID for super glue, but my haul, my impulse purchase haul. Got our favourite tea tonight, vegan spaghetti carbonara. I'll put the recipe in the description. This is absolutely amazing with the like bacon mushrooms and the vegan cheese sauce and a gin and tonic. And we have some interesting jazz on in the background. We've had a very eventful evening, mainly with planning for the future things rather than doing anything exciting tonight. So we've booked to see Fantastic Beasts when that comes out. We've booked 
Um, I've booked my driving theory test. Oh, I need to get revising for that. And we are going to Newcastle for a bit. We're going to Carlisle for a bit again for an afternoon tea. And yeah, lots of exciting stuff happening. But now we've done all of the booking things. We've got some popcorn and we're gonna watch Don't Tell the Bride. I am so tired today. I don't know how I was so energetic the other day when I was like, I'm so hyper, it must be the vitamins. Still taking the vitamins, it's not the vitamins. Um, anyway, I decided to paint my nails today because I'm filming my plan with me later. So it's always nice to have nice nails for that. And I never paint my nails. I never like take the time to do it. So I'm actually doing like a really cool pattern as well rather than just like a block colour. That's why there's tape on my fingers. So I've got a pretty uh, busy day today. So I really need to get cracking but I'm just so tired. So I'll do this. Chill for a bit longer this morning, let my nails dry and then I'll get cracking. I don't like how my nails look when I've got a dark colour on so I ended up just painting over the this dark purple with the silver I just painted over the whole thing it looks kind of iridescent because you can still see the purple underneath all right what time is it oh my god it's like 10 o'clock i need to crack on hey there beautiful angel beautiful nugget you're so distracting because your little face is so cute. Did you know that? Did you know that? Marketing and sales and how it can help you out. I hope everybody's doing well. well You're very you. loud. Inside a tasty box. Of course, done. And I've just been looking at a load of the like bonus material as well. Well, not the whole course. I mean, just one of the lessons I was going to do today is done. Um, yeah, and I was looking at all of the bonus stuff, and I've been snacking on these, which are absolutely amazing. They're blueberry and vanilla rice cakes. They are my favourite, and I've eaten quite a lot of them. And I've been sharing them with Bunny as well, because he likes to eat them too, because they're really crunchy. And also my friend from Israel FaceTimed me and just had, we just had a really lovely chat. I haven't spoken to her in ages. So it was so nice just to catch up. And I think that just goes to show about how much, like kind of like what I spoke about in my How To Make Friends as, a, as an adult um, video about how it's about going out there and putting the effort out there. Like I haven't spoken to her in absolutely ages, but it was so simple for her to just call me up and just like video chat with me. And like if, if I'd put the effort out there, then we could have done that sooner. So we're gonna definitely, do that more often and also the importance of saying yes to things like I was kind of in the middle of doing one of the courses and I could have said oh no I can't talk right now I'm doing one of I'm doing my course but I said no I'm going to pause my course and I'm going to talk to her because she has phoned me we're going to have a chat right now because I haven't spoken to her in ages and it was yeah really nice and then you know as soon as I finished with calling her, I could just continue on with my course. That's why I really like doing this course over going back to uni, because I was looking at um, doing a master's or, you know, even doing like a college course or something, like doing a BTEC or whatever, um, but I really like how I can just do this whenever. There is like, on this particular one I'm doing through Shore Academy, there is like set times that you're meant to watch the video and then you're meant to be able to chat with the other people who are also watching the video, like a webinar. But it wasn't work, like the chat wasn't working for me when I was doing it. So I was like, I'll just do them whenever. I don't need to wait for the set times. And I prefer that just to be able to do my course whenever I want to and as quickly as I want to so that I can get it done in a month. But I'm gonna make some lunch now. I think I've got the last portion of pumpkin biryani. This lasted like all week. This is the state of my bed after filming a plan with me. Oh, you're getting a little glimpse of 
a spread, but the video is going to be out on Sunday, so you'll have to wait till then to see the whole thing. London is all booked. I'm so excited. It was kind of confusing because we're flying down to a different airport than we're flying back from and we had to sort all that out. And we've got tickets to go and see Wicked on one of the nights. I'm so excited. I just can't, I'm just gonna keep saying I'm so excited because I am so excited. So we're doing Wicked, we're doing Winter Wonderland, seeing our friends that are down there and staying with them for a bit and we're staying with my parents and we're going to see my brother and my nephew and we're doing like a whole tour of all of the southern people so it's very exciting i'm excited can you tell i'm excited so i've just been editing today's vlog so that's one less thing i need to do tomorrow because tomorrow oh it's such a hectic day i'm just looking at my bullet journal and like why why have i put so many things on tomorrow and i've also found out that i have an interview on sunday for a christmas temp position at Lush, so that's exciting as well. So busy day tomorrow and busy weekend. So I'm just trying to get as much done now as I can while Adam's in the bath so that I have less to do on the weekend. Oh, you've got a little milky snoot, boo. Mm -hmm. 